Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard, episode number 107 of season 4. And um, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but maybe you can, because I look I might look extremely tired, which I am, because I've stayed up all night playing Supercard, uh, playing a little bit of War, uh, not that much, but a little bit before it came out, played a lot of Wild Mode. Um, before RD came out, and then of course RD came out, and I've been grinding pretty much ever since. Um, I don't want this video to be too long, so what I'm going to go do is I'm going to play the last game on Brock Lesnar, the 34, which I never have gotten this card before, that's why I wanted to go uh, down and get it. I've already finished Bray Wyatt, Goliath, Bo Dallas, Bo, I a list there, Bo Dallas, uh, SummerSlam 18. And I'm like one or two shards, I think, off uh, Bret Hart, maybe more than one or two shards. But we're going to go and complete all of that in this video. Unlock the um, heroic version of Ring Domination. And uh, I believe I know what the heroic SummerSlam 18 card is for the heroic side of this RD. Um, so I will let you guys know right now. Apparently it's Bobby Roode. So I'm not 100% sure because I don't, I haven't seen it myself, but that's what people are saying normally. Normally, when you know, when someone says it, then you, I, you normally will believe it. I haven't seen the proof yet, but I bet there is proof if people are saying it is. It's most likely Bobby Roode. That it could not be, but yeah, that's interesting. Um, which means none of them are pros for me um, and of course the theme for this RD would all be uh, the letter B wouldn't, wouldn't it uh, Brock Lesnar, Bray Wyatt Bo Dallas, Bret Hart you know Bobby Roode and uh, and so on <laughs> so um, Paul Wise, I've been, I've been playing this game a lot in the last couple of days um, and have gotten a, a couple of pulls for it which is pretty cool um, I pulled two support cards, managers, um, two stat managers as well, so I put two of those back to back, they're not compatible, but I cover three stats, so I'm more than happy with that for King of the Ring. Um, after that I pulled myself a Nia Jax, and my last reset on this, on the beginning of this Brock Lesnar card was actually Ember Moon, as you can see on the overlay right now. Uh, so there we go, we've finished Brock Lesnar, I'm going to go update my deck, and then it will take us back to Bret Hart, just have to back out, come back in, and there we go, we have three shards, not two shards, so let's go ahead and finish off uh, this Bret Hart card, now I don't know what the Titan is or the cards lower than that, I really hope it, they are not catalogued, like there really is like three cards I think left in Titan tier that still are uh, catalogued for me, uh, cards I just need to pro, there's yeah, like three more in, in Monster and like, actually like four in Beast, so, so close. Um, I tried looking for them, I couldn't find it, um, so I just gave up. So I don't know what the uh, those cards are, but most likely not, then, then most likely not catalog, so it's fine. I'm happy with Brock Lesnar, never got that card before, so uh, that's, uh, that's, that's an extra card discovered. <laughs> so... Finished off this game, um, so I got my pull pff, five shards maybe into Brock, so I should be getting another pull uh, around finishing the undercard Bobby Roode most likely and getting on to the to the to the boost. So hopefully one more pull in this ring domination, and there we go where we just get the last couple shards on that Bret Hart. Really cool. Looks actually very very close to the epics, isn't it? Never seen it. With uh, with two epics side by side, so there we go. The heroic ring domination has been unlocked. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to get on with that, aren't I? But before I end the video, guys, I don't want the video to be too long. I just wanna. I hope it isn't too long already. I wanna really try and keep it under like five ten minutes, not no longer. So let's go ahead and claim this uh, pack. I got a SummerSlam 18 in the previous pack, so. I highly, highly, highly doubt we get lucky uh, to back-to-back -back packs, but you never know, oh my god. Wow, I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh, damn, okay, so what is the Goliath? The Goliath, and it is catalog. Yes, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that's catalog. That's definitely catalog. 
uh, battle points and I can't believe I'm going to get another SummerSlam 18 back to back battleground packs. I'm not going to lie, this is pretty lucky, I'm happy. If it's a pro, oh my god, just unreal. And if it's not a pro, it's just an extra SummerSlam 18 card. The Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose, I will take that, that's a really sick... To be honest, you know, give credit where credit's due. There are a load of nice images in this new tier, I feel. And I'm, uh, I'll definitely take that Dean Ambrose card, that is pretty sick. And actually, we got another one, so wow. I'm, 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 no pros, <laughs> but I've actually got a lot of, uh, of 18 cards now, like actually quite a lot. Um, I'm not going to lie, I've opened a couple packs, I don't know why I haven't done it on camera, it would have been way better to have done it on camera. Um, so no excuses on that, I just decided to open them um, when I couldn't really record. And I got a couple, you know, a couple things, I got this Jinder Mahal, I got this Pete Dunne, um, I got this Daniel Bryan, I got this Braun Strowman, um, and that's all I had. Yes, I believe those are the four cards. The four cards I packed. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, pulled Jimmy Uso. That was my pull after my freebie. The only male I've pulled yet. Kofi Kingston uh, was Battleground, wasn't it? The last one. Buddy Murphy was the event. Goldberg was my freebie. Uh, event, uh, event, and event, and Battleground. Okay, so yeah. Four. Got four SummerSlam 18s in packs. Um, pulled, obviously, freebie I won't count, but so I've pulled Jimmy Uso, uh, Nia Jax, and Ember Moon, and I got two out of background packs. So overall, I will say um, pretty decent start to the tier. Unfortunately, no early, early pros, but at least I've got a nice number of, uh, of singles and uh, and yeah I'm definitely accumulating and it'll be any time now until I get a pro of course Bret Hart technically uh, I've got him pro but I will soon enough um, 4,900 sorry 49,736 games played which means I am 264 games away I hope I said that number right I don't want to rethink it so I'll just go with that um, so I'll have that in either the next step. Yeah, no, I'll definitely have that in the next episode. I won't. I'll probably probably be a couple of days before I upload again. So I'll definitely have that in the next episode. Obviously, we're praying for Nijax or Ember Moon. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Or Alexa Bliss. Um, I won't. I, it's not even like a pro, a pro right now would be obviously really good, but in a way, not amazing. And I wouldn't pro it to the max. I'd just make it better than like Becky Lynch, for example, so I can win. But I won't. I won't like level it up to the max just for like LMS because um, that, that will screw me for LMS. I've learned from the previous tiers not to screw up LMS. LMS is important, have a balanced deck for it. Thanks for watching the video. Drop it a like, subscribe if you're new around here. I'll see you guys very soon or sometime miss. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.